Hey guys, I'm Deepti Desikin and this video we're going to be talking about makeup products that fetched me a lot of compliments and these are like short short products that I know if I wear this I do get a lot of compliments and it's not like I'm seeking for it it's not like I'm asking for it uh, who doesn't like to be complimented on their makeup because um, we put in a lot of effort, time and money into these products so why not enjoy the compliments and in this video I have a mix of high-end and affordable products a lot of times I used to include just affordable makeup and then I got a lot of comments mentioning you know why not include a blend of both so that people who want to like not resort to buying just affordable can try out the other products as well because a lot a lot of people prefer wearing just affordable makeup and not just high-end makeup so this way i feel like it's more true to myself these are the products i genuinely use so these are products that i have worn so many times out and i have um get asked you know what is that on your face it looks so good what is that on your eyes it looks so good so those are the products i'm going to be talking about these are my ride or die these are the products i can vouch for i know for a fact that would you know work out really well for me and when in doubt i always reach out for these products you could try it out too if most of my recommendations work out for you or if you have similar skin type or you just go for like similar kind of makeup that i like and i'll explain about these products maybe if it works out for you you can try them out anyways first up uh, skin prep is super important for your makeup to look really nice and for that I always reach out for this Cosarex uh, Advanced Nail um, Mucin Power Essence. So even if you don't use that all-in-one cream make sure to use this essence because if especially if you have normal to dry skin it just instantly plumps your skin up makes your skin feel so hydrated and glowy and after that all of the makeup products just go on so smoothly so a really good base is very important when you want your makeup to go on really smooth not clinging on to anything you know uh, not looking very dry cakey patchy none of that so that is a really good product and i like to prep my skin with that and then followed up with a primer so with a primer you don't really get compliments like oh your primer is looking so good so nobody is ever going to say that but when you use this primer it just makes your makeup so much more glowy i feel like and the makeup sits really well on your skin it wouldn't skip anywhere and even over time it just looks that good so it's a very good adhering primer and the makeup i feel like is very long lasting when i wear this primer particularly and i have gone out on really hot sunny days and stayed out the entire day and i didn't even have to touch it up with powder or blot or anything with this primer it is that good and it doesn't like make the makeup look blotchy skip nothing of that sort and just makes your skin look so glowy and any product on top of this just it looks 10 times better in my opinion so this is a great product to use if you want to prep your makeup for a you know really long day and you want your makeup to just be very long lasting for color correction nobody really compliments you for your color corrector but it just cancels out all of that unevenness and darkness on your face and also underneath the eyes so the makeup looks a lot true to color it doesn't look gray and ashy and um it also doesn't look like it's oxidized a lot so you can use any color corrector of your choice my favorites are the bobby brown color corrector stick i like this one the smashbox x becca um color corrector this is in the shade medium dark this is a little bit emollient so if you have very dry undry area you would like it but it's also a little bit sticky and tacky and has a waxy smell to it so just keep that in mind and it is pricey but you can find it on discount most of the times or you can also try out the inside concealer palette the concealer in that is so nice so creamy underneath the eyes and it just sits so beautifully it doesn't emphasize any lines on your face it doesn't emphasize any sort of you know, dryness or anything like that and then moving on to foundation these foundations i must agree just look like butter butter on your skin just makes your skin look so much more even smooth it looks like you have makeup on it also looks a little bit natural so just so good the first one is the kiro daily dewy serum foundation i have used this one so much that all of the name and everything is faded away i have this one in the shade 03 almond beige they do have a shade expansion in this so in case you are wanting to try out a shade for yourself i'm sure you can find one for yourself so this one has hyaluronic acid vitamin c and niacinamide i feel like if, even before like all of these uh skincare infused makeup became a very big thing like like i think it just started off in 2023 more so predominantly but i feel like kiro has been doing this for a really long time most of their makeup has skincare infused in it and i feel like you know they've caught on with the trend or like they've 
also like were one of the first few brands in India even to do that and um, like I mentioned this foundation has hyaluronic acid vitamin C and niacinamide in it and so it just is so beautiful okay the this one pump of it it has a little bit of a thicker consistency like you can see so one full squeeze of this i would want to say one pump so it comes in this kind of a packaging where you have to squeeze out the product so one uh, full pump of this one would give you medium high coverage that's how amazing the coverage of this one is you can use a lesser amount of the product just to keep it a little bit more natural and if you want to like you know let uh, the acne scars or like any kind of a uh, little bit of a pigmentation to peek through so it looks a lot more skin like and you can see the way i'm applying it it just has a little bit of a glow but not something that's too dewy so too, too much of a dewy product would emphasize everything on your face things you don't even want to be exaggerated so this one is not like too dewy but not too matte and it just looks so creamy so beautiful on the face and you can see how my makeup is looking i absolutely love it and this doesn't look like a foundation of this price point it just looks like a high-end product in my opinion and this foundation i feel like is a dupe for a lot of different high-end uh, foundations so if you own this you don't really need a lot of those so if it's just so blendable you can use a brush you can use a sponge or you can just use your fingers so it's a very nice accessible product on a day-to-day -day basis but i like to blend this with a brush because i feel like i just get a more uh, easy application and a seamless application it just looks so good there's not one skin type i would not recommend this foundation for it's super long lasting very long wearing doesn't let the sweat peek through easily doesn't let um any of the oils seep through like right now i haven't even set my entire face and it's quite quite hot right here but it's not letting anything seep through so that's something i really like about this foundation it's not clinging on to anything not exaggerating my smile lines my forehead lines it's just sitting so beautifully on the skin and you have to appreciate it when brands come up with formulations like this not everybody wants a super matte foundation not a super full coverage foundation so this is a very buildable product you can keep it to a very light coverage light medium coverage or you can keep it at medium high coverage and it just is one foundation that would work for all occasions like your day-to-day -day wear you look like you're wearing a little bit of makeup you can still use this or if you want to just go like a little bit more glam and medium high coverage you can still build on it and it wouldn't look bad at all this foundation is pigmented enough it is spreadable enough so it would work either way so this would fetch you a lot of compliments every single time i wear this even on camera off camera every single time i wear this out i get asked what is that on my face so a lot of you guys like that it looks like skin there's a little bit of radiance but it's not too dewy so that is something a lot of you guys have liked it looks a little bit blurring on the face as well so that is something that i do get complimented a lot on and then um another foundation this is a little bit more expensive so if you don't really want to spend on this you can of course stick to the keto foundation but this is also something that i have used a lot this one is a new sticks tinted cover foundation uh, you don't get a lot of product with this you get 25 ml of product and this i feel like is not available in stock anymore on nika at least this shade but this is again that one product that gives you like a tinted moisturizer kind of an effect you can build on it a little bit to light medium coverage i wouldn't build on this one too much it doesn't give you as much coverage as the keto uh, foundation but it just gives you a light medium coverage again looks very seamless very put to together very clean on your face and even if you haven't masked a lot of you know your your acne scars or your, your i have a little bit of like a mark right here on my face even if all of that is not masked it still looks so clean and good so that is something i really like it doesn't sit on my face powdery it doesn't sit on my facial hair or anything differently so this both of these are really good and then for concealer i feel like this one concealer is more than enough you don't really even need a lot of high-end concealers if you have color corrected you can use this concealer it gives you a very beautiful finish and it's something you don't even have to set actually because i feel like it's very long wearing it doesn't settle onto the lines it doesn't fade away it just looks so smooth so even and a little bit dewy underneath the eyes as well so if you have normal to dry skin dry and dry area you would really really like this concealer i've used this one up so much and it's something that i use on a day-to-day -day basis even over a lot of high-end concealers because i love the the way it wears throughout the day i love how it looks underneath my eyes my problem with a lot of concealers is, is that they start to cake up they start to pill a little bit differently but this one just makes my under eye area look so smooth and it works with pretty much all powders pretty much everything and just a very nice product even just to use on its own to spot conceal and everything what a great formulation 
And then to set all of that in place, I always, always reach out for this powder over any other powder. Okay, I have a touch up powder that is a Rimmel Stay Matte powder that I use throughout the day, but this is the powder I use to set the concealer underneath my eyes. Or if I feel like, you know, I'm looking a little bit sweaty, if it's extremely hot, then I use this powder. It just is so nice. It sets your makeup in place, but it's also a little bit blurring and it just evens everything out. It's just a really nice powder, you guys. You can always find this on really good discount on Cult, the app. It's K-U-L-T, Cult okay it's an app and you can find they have so many different coupon codes they come up with coupon codes every now and then so you can get this for literally a fraction of the cost i wouldn't resort to nika to pick this product up i would wait for like cult to have those discounts and get the full size of this because you would use this every single day and you wouldn't regret it it's just such a nice finely melt loose powder and then for blush, I do have quite a few options of blushes. The first one is this Pixie blush. Can you believe it? I first hated this product and now when I started to wear this because I bought it with my own money and then now I get a lot of compliments with this product. Still, I wouldn't recommend you guys go out and pick this one up because it is very pricey and I don't think it's very long lasting and I don't think it would show up on a lot of different skin tones because it's not supremely pigmented. So this one is the Pixie On The Glow blush in the shade Ruby. Now why I like this is because it is a little bit of like that reddish shade and I feel like that works really well with my skin tone. I feel like it makes me look a lot more awake, a lot more fresh. So I like to take this directly onto a brush like this. I feel like it gives a little bit of a dewiness, a little bit of something, something on my face. So it's not something that looks too much. So on makeup, on days where I want my makeup to look extremely natural, this is something I reach out for. And you can also set that to make it long lasting because on its own, I don't feel like it's very long lasting. There are so many other affordable stick blushes you can try out. You can try out something from Blue Heaven. Their stick blushes are so good. The Kiro stick blushes are also really good. Another one is a powder blush. This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. And I feel like this is in the shade Velvet Crush. I thought this wouldn't show up on my skin, but it's what I have right now. I love it, you guys. It's so blurring. I feel like sometimes, you know, blushes for me is so tricky, especially when they are matte, because I have a lot of these bumps on my face and they just look a lot more predominant, a lot more dry and cakey. But with this blush, that doesn't happen. I don't even like the MAC blush sometimes because I feel like it's just looking really like powdery on my face, but this looks so seamless, yet they're so long wearing. Like I wore this the other day to meet my friend. It was very hot. I was sweating quite a bit and all of that. And I came back home and I was like, oh, my blush is still staying in place and it just made me look so fresh. Just love this shade, just love the formulation of this, just love everything about this product. I know a lot of people were like, I don't really like this, there's no pigmentation. There are a lot of different shades you can pick up and a lot of people mentioned that the formulation is nothing out of the blue, but I feel like it certainly is. Like, show me another powder blush that is as blurring as this one like so blurring and even i just love this i'm waiting for the other shades to come back in stock on the cult app or at least for the other shades to go on a really good discount on nika because i did see this so many times on discount on nika and i never picked it up and now i'm like what because i love it and i want to own every single shade of this one it is that good that good Okay, and then I the other product is not really like a blush. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. This is like a face gloss. They mentioned it's a lot of like a blush topper blush also. So it, it looks like a clear kind of a thing, but it has a little bit of a pigment, like a pink pigment to it. And when you apply it on your face, it has this pink sheen and it looks so glowy, so glossy, and you don't really have to even use a highlighter. That's what I really like about this product, and it looks very, very natural. So if you're going for that very natural glow kind of a look, try this out. I haven't found a dupe for this at all. It is quite unique because I tried out something from Renee, but that was so pigmented. This one doesn't have that much of a pigment, so it works really well for that very natural look. And then for a highlighter, this is the Insight Pro uh, professional liquid highlighter. I have this one in the shade 03 Blushing Sun. Now you can try out the Nika Strobe Glow Liquid Highlighter but because I mentioned the same thing in another video, I've done a previous version of this one so you can check it out. I don't want to repeat it again but if you wanted something again very affordable, a fraction of the uh, cost of the Nika highlighter is 
as well you can try this it is super natural looking it's not something that looks very natural like if you don't have any base makeup on you can see a little bit of shimmer on your face but when you have makeup on and then you apply a tiny drop of this on your face it just is so glowy so beautiful you could also make it a little bit more intense or you can keep it very natural it has very 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 finely milled shimmer particles and this is like a luxe product right here i like this over the rare beauty liquid highlighter that is a little bit dry and and just a little bit sh too shimmery for my liking and I don't really like the undertones of those liquid highlighters but this one is really good and moving on to eye makeup I have quite a few to share with you guys these mass northern lights in a pan eyeshadow just pick up any one shade okay I personally prefer this shade in um, 03 Finland flash because it's what I have on my eyes this is a very like beautiful shade because it has a little bit of green shift as well as pink to it and this is my most used out of the shades that I have it's what I have on my eyes as well so you just need a little bit of a base eyeshadow underneath this for it to look a lot more predominant just on its own I don't feel like it packs a punch and also I don't conceal my eyelids so maybe that's the reason it looks a lot more subtle but I did use a base eyeshadow and I just love the sheen it gives it's not something that's chunky it's not foily it doesn't flake away you can use this like towards the end of your makeup and it still doesn't have any fallout it looks like you've done a lot but it's just a one and done eyeshadow and another eyeshadow palette which i really like now this one seems a little bit expensive if you would pick it up on mrp but this one goes on discount all of the time so this one is from prosh and can you believe like this is my most used eyeshadow palette like from last year I absolutely love the shades in this one and they are so pigmented so blendable and every single time I've used these eyeshadows as well I get a lot of compliments like just look at this pink look at that shift it has and this kind of like a champagne shade look at the punch it packs you know it's not foily like where it is flaky but it's not something that's too dry matte so a lot of times eyeshadows over time they dry up they look so powdery and flaky on the eyes but this one is not like that so I feel like it's worth the price they have a very pigmented black eye black eyeshadow as well and I don't think you would regret this palette if it is not good I would never recommend something on my channel so this out of all of the eyeshadow palettes I own, Huda Beauty, Pat McGrath, this one is my most used eyeshadow palette because I have fallen in love with the formulation of this. The color scheme may be not so unique, but the formulation is certainly unique. I have the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and I feel like over time, the shimmer shades are just like so dry and crusty and, and sand-like, but this one is not like that. It still has that sheen, it still has that foily feel to it. And it's been a while since I owned this eyeshadow palette also, so... Um, it's performing really well and then for mascara something i compliment myself it's not like i've got a lot of compliments for this but i feel like my eyes look so much more nicer when i use this mascara is this one this one is a Two faced better than sex mascara this is in the brown variant and it's what i have on my lashes today and i feel like they just make you feel a lot more awake they like popped brown in my eyes and i just love how it looks okay it's lengthening and volumizing the formulation of this is not my absolute favorite but i just love it in the brown variant not so much in the black one for some reason but i love the brown one and also the packaging feels so nice and luxe and then uh the other two mascaras this one is the swiss beauty mascara duo which is now available on nika again every single time i've used this i get asked what is that mascara i have on because the effect it gives especially if you have like already a little bit like long elongated lashes this would make you look like you have falsies on for me my eyelashes are barely there so it is pretty it is still pretty good it is lengthening and volumizing it has a lengthening and volumizing and waterproof long lasting doesn't flake doesn't crumble and also the huda beauty uh one coat wow mascara i got this from cult again for like a fraction of the cost and such a good lengthening and volumizing mascara would give you that false lashes effect but it's it is a little bit crumbly okay it settles like over time it just flakes off and then settles on your under eye area but such a good product you guys and then a kajal that off late a lot of you guys have been asking what's that on your eyes what's that liner you've used so this is the rene midnight coal pencil so this is a dark black coal pencil see look at that look at the pigmentation of that this is said to be smudge proof that's how they marketed it so once you let it rest on your uh, rest for a bit and then smudge it it doesn't smudge as much okay and even on the eyes i don't completely agree that it is smudge proof but compared to all of the kajals i've tried out this one is the most long lasting one it's very easy to apply it like if you want to like apply it closer to your lashes uh 
tight line, apply it on your waterline, everything it is so nice to use because it's creamy, it's pigmented and it just glides on but you don't really have to apply a lot of pressure and so most of the times when you use these kind of kajals that just glide on, they smudge so much but this one doesn't do that and it stays for a decent amount of time even on my very watery eye so I like it for that now, like see I'm trying to smudge it. it doesn't smudge as much but yeah there is a little bit of smudging which is negligible compared to a lot of kajals so definitely pick this up and then for lipsticks i get complimented the most when i wear these lipsticks this one is the uh, l'oreal liquid lipstick in the shade lazy sunday which is like a nice dark grungy uh, brown kind of a shade and it looks so good on every single skin tone i've seen this one on and it's quite long wearing as well the formulation of this not the most comfortable but it is quite long wearing and then the fee beauty liquid lipstick in the shade uh, lip whip in the shade nut this is such a beautiful shade it's a deep brownish sort of shade with a little bit of burgundy undertones to it. it is so deep skin tone friendly it looks really nice on me without makeup as well and then what i have on my lips right now swiss beauty spice nude i've talked about this so many times i love this shade it is certainly unique and i picked this up just like that just to try it out and i happen to love this particular shade the formulation it is so good and of course the charlotte tilbury lipstick in the shade so 90s i saw that recently it was back in stock on nika and there was a flat 30 percent off so if you can pick this up it's not just your any other brown kind of shade you can see how much i've used this one it has a little bit of brown little bit of red mauve undertone to it it is a very wearable brown shade and would show up on your lips and quite pigmented as well not the most pigmented it is a little bit of a creamy formulation but so beautiful i do get complimented for so many lipsticks that i own but i think these are the ones that i can remember right off the bat of course a deep red shade that everybody loves when i wear is the mac powder kiss liquid lipstick in the shade make love to the camera now um, this is not a unique shade but I like the formulation of this it's very lightweight and it's very blurring on the lips so even if you have very dry lips flakiness and you have lines it doesn't settle on to that it just gives you that very velvety blurred out finish so you can pair this up with most of your red shades and it adds a little bit of depth and saturation to those you know usual red shades as well and makes it so much more nicer and wearable so if there's one shade you have to pick up from this range on discount it should be this one in make love to the camera it's a beautiful deep red shade. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you want to watch more such videos and what other makeup products that when you wear, you get complimented the most. Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.